is here in regard to the situation. Mr. Dembrowski is here um, back on maybe 11th for a purpose of arraignment. And five years right to counsel and that. He had a question as to, um, I'm going to turn it over to you, Mr. Dembrowski, what your concern was at that night. Judge, I had, I had notes that indicate that his license was still suspended at that point. Is that still the case? He's still suspended, Judge. I'm All right. Again, um, all right. I was, uh, I just had a few questions uh, of clarification before I could proceed, Your Honor. Um, do I have a right to a fair and meaningful hearing here today? Pardon? Do I have a right to a fair and meaningful You're hearing? You're charged with an unclassified misdemeanor. You have the right to file discovery demands and ask for hearings in an omnibus motion. You don't have a right to a hearing here and now. You don't have a traffic ticket. You're charged with a crime. Okay, Your Honor. Um, uh, am I presumed innocent of every element of the charge of accusations here today, Your Honor? Yes. Is uh, jurisdiction one of those elements, Your Honor? I think we went over this last time you were here, Mr. Ambrosky, and told you that I have information to file a report alleging uh, date, time, location, where this alleged has occurred within the jurisdiction of this court. That having occurred within the town's scope. May I have a copy of that, Your Honor? I think you will provide your own copy of the tickets issued to me at the time. Is that the only form of proof of jurisdiction that's been entered into evidence, Your Honor? Judge, nothing's been entered into evidence at this point. If Mr. Dombrowski would like an adjournment to file motions and or discovery with this court, the people would consent to that adjournment and would uh, happily receive his motions and discovery in July. Objection. I'd like to remove this threat of violence from my life today, Your Honor. Um, if, if there's been no um, evidence entered and as proof of jurisdiction, I'd, I'd like to move to have the case dismissed then. Judge, any motions to dismiss that come in front of the court, the people ask that those motions be made in writing on notice to the people, and the people ask that they then be given the opportunity to respond in writing to the court. Objection, Your Honor. Um, before I'm um, asked to come before the court, jurisdiction should be entered into evidence as proof that um, there's proof of a uh, prostitute. Proof of prostitute, Your Honor. I'm sorry. There's no proper documents have been filed with this court establishing such. If you would like to make a motion to dismiss, challenging jurisdiction, that can be done in writing. It is one of the <coughs> motions that must statutorily be done in writing. Objection. Um, may I have a copy of those, then, Your Honor? You have them already. So is, is, is the ticket is the only, excuse me, sorry. So is the ticket the only form of proof of jurisdiction then, Your Honor, that's been entered in evidence as proof of jurisdiction by prosecution? Judge, I'm not going to comment any further. If he is making a motion to dismiss, it must be done in writing on exactly. notice to the people. Well, I'm just trying to investigate. I'm, just, I'm, I'm making a verbal motion, yes, Your Honor. Judge, there's a motion that's statutory must be done in writing. Do you want to bring them out and submit them right in? Yes, Sean. All right. <coughs> July 6th. Are your motions submitted in right in? Thank you very much, Sean.